Kaga. Despite being a small county in western region, it has experienced huge development milestone for the last three financial years. Development being the only language that the county leadership led by Governor Wilbo Ticillo understands, the only meal that tastes sweet to the people of Vihiga, real stuff has really happened across the county, hence quenching residents' thirst and enthusiasm for change. Education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world, said Nelson Mandela. It is from the backdrop of their age that through the Department of Education, Science, Technical and Vocational Training, a governor's scholarship program was birthed to cater for the students who pass their KCPE but cannot afford high school fees. I had no one to take me in secondary school. My dad just died like today and tomorrow the KCP results were announced. But Governor Otichilo, since you came into my life, I know I will be called a lawyer. Wakati nilisikia mtoto wangu amechukuliwa, nilikuwa na furaha. Nilikuwa na furaha hata nje yenyewe nilikuwa na ilisha. Nashukuru sana governor wetu. The program started with 110 students, a number that has doubled to 221, and the governor targets to have 500 on the program by next year. Our motto still stands that the scholarship is paid on performance. Sasa ukienda huko ulale useme ah mimi kila kitu nitafanyiwa fees nitalipiwa we do not want to go that direction Apart from their school fees being fully paid the students also receive shopping and mentorship during school holidays that see top performers receive awards Countless visits in the homes of governor scholarship beneficiaries revealed humble backgrounds where bright students will have gone to waste. Sketu furand tangu imetimia nimeingia bunyore girls shule yangu yani nilikuwa na matumaini naweza ingia nikipita mtiani sasa nimefurahia governor you love us too much too much too much of excess love Mimi nilikuwa nadharauliwa lakini kwa hivi sasa ninakaa na watu ambao wana magari katika shule ya Chabakani Those who do not qualify from the scholarship receive bursaries as they are given annually 100 million was spent on the initiative in the year 2019-2020 financial year with Early Childhood Development Education, ECD, being the foundation of one's education, the county government of Vihiga has constructed more than 175 modern ECD classrooms to provide an ample learning environment for the young pupils. <laughs> Additionally, the county provides tables, chairs, textbooks and other learning materials to the children. To beef up human resource, the department recently recruited 814 teachers for the 408 ECD centers across the county. Tuko na mashule zingine ambazo sinatakikana siwe na walimu zaidi wawili. Kwa hivyo tutaangalia na tutaangalia pia budget yetu kama tutaona kwamba tuko na savings mahali. Tutaona kwamba wale ambao wamebaki watawajiriwa. In line with the Vision 2030, the county has registered, renovated and equipped 31 technical, vocational and education training TVET centers to promote hands-on skills. This makes Vihiga the highest with number of registered TVETs in the entire country. Purchase of various learning equipment and creating conducive learning environments have increased students' enrollment from 2,900 in 2017 to the current 4,600. Agriculture is a critical sector whose productivity safeguards our county's food security, which is among the president's big four agenda. With the aim of promoting agribusiness in the county, in July 2019, the county government revamped and launched Mwitoko Fish Farm and Agriculture Training Center located in Luanda sub-county. Being the largest fish farm in the entire Lake Region economic block, the farm boasts 31 fish ponds, and it has so far empowered various youths, students, groups and farmers across the county by offering them agriculture training and fingerlings at subsidized cost. 
tulikuwa napata shida kupata mbeko kutoka mbalimbali mbali, kama Kisumo, mahali pengine Bungoma. Na vile serikali ya kaunti imeleta uh, kituo ya research karibu na sisi tutafaidika. Mwitoko which produces tilapia and catfish fingerlings has so far produced 460,000 fingerlings but it has an annual capacity of 1.2 million. Wengine wanaweza sema samaki ya kutoka kwa bahari ama kwa ziwa. Wanasema ni mtamu kuliko huu samaki wa fish pond. Lakini nikisema ya kwamba samaki ni samaki mpaka ujue chakula ile kizuri kwa na ile ambayo itaweza kufanya hiyo hiyo samaki ikue kwa haraka na ikue nyama yake ni mzuri. Currently we are producing fingerlings and supplying to farmers within the Vihiga county uh, and also from other counties. Our primary target is our fish farmers who are 1200 currently and uh, our target is to sell to them fish at a subsidized cost. Call upon my people of Iga County to embrace fish farming as an alternative and we are ready to train them to do fish farming in their own compounds. You don't need to have a river. The National Agricultural Rural Inclusive Growth Project has seen more than 540 groups receive grant funding for value addition agribusiness projects. 20 motorcycles were procured under this project to boost agricultural extension services. Those who are under reward level. In our home, by a pamba mufikie mama moga, ambaya ana moga zake kwa field na anataka ajue ataweka fertilizer gani. In 2018-2019 financial year, farmers across the county received subsidized farm imports that included fertilizer and maize seeds, indigenous African leafy vegetable seeds, pasture, 15,000 avocado seedlings, tea and coffee seedlings to increase crop productivity. Dairy farming remains key in increasing milk production. In 2018-2019 and 2019-2020 financial years, Dr. Otichilo's government granted various groups a total of 150 dairy cows and 90 dairy goats. Matters pertinent to the quality of life to the people of Vihiga County will always remain a priority to the county government. For quality, affordable, accessible and available healthcare services, modern medical diagnostic facilities have been installed at the county referral hostel in Bali. Purchase of the first ever CT scan machine in Vihiga has been quite impactful. Initially, residents will visit neighboring counties for CT scan services, a journey that was usually tiresome and costly. Addition of 64 slice CT scan from the national government wouldn't have come at a better time. CT scan um, has been able to serve over a thousand patients uh, within a span of uh, 18 months. Moreover, it is under Tichilo's governance that the county has set up the first intensive care unit ICU to save lives of patients who are often referred to other counties. At the county referral hospital, there is cardiac clinic, blood transfusion center which is awaiting equipping, a renal unit which has been a treasure to patients who come for dialysis sessions. Oral healthcare has improved following installation of modern dental clinics in all sub-county hospitals. <laughs> After renovating and equipping of the theater at the Vihiga Sub-County Referral Hospital, the Department of Health operationalized the theater of Emohaya Sub-County Hostel to get services closer to Mwanainchi and erase congestion at the referral hospital. Matano mortality rate in Vihiga County has substantially reduced since inception of Boresha Afia Yamama Namtoto dubbed Otichilo Care. The program which emphasizes on mothers receiving free antenatal clinic services, free skill delivery in health facilities, proper nutrition and immunization services has seen more than 5,000 mothers benefit. Tuliambiwa na our data clerks kwa hospitali, wali tueleza wakati unashika, unatambua tu kwamba huko na mimba, unaanza clinic ndio maana uweze kunufaika na mradi wa utichilo care. Umradi unakufanya, 
unaweza kunitembea unajua jinsi ya kumtunza mke wako kabla kujifungua na baada ya kujifungua between december 2018 and january 2021 Otichilokea has reduced maternal mortality from 122 per 100,000 live births to 49 per 100,000 live births. To link communities to healthcare, the Vihiga County government has trained and equipped 1,440 community healthcare volunteers and give them monthly stipends. An interrupted drug and non-pharmaceutical supplies from the Kenya Medical Supplies Authority has made it possible for residents to have consistent supply of drugs in all healthcare facilities. Construction of 160 bed capacity hospital plaza, drugs and pharmaceutical store and funeral home is ongoing. The county government in partnership with the World Bank through Kenya Urban Support Program has transformed the county with various projects. Being the county headquarters, Bali Town has experienced a major facelift following beautification works that entails construction of drainage systems, waterways, installation of high mass floodlights and laying of cobblestones on walkways and pavements. The program has also given Bali Town a new tarmac road whose works are ongoing. Tamaking of Mbale, Zimbalo, Munoyo Road will open up their aforementioned areas for investment opportunities that will improve livelihoods of area residents. Ni project yetu sisi wote wananchi wa Vihiga. Na ile ningesi wananchi wetu wa Munoyo, bagangu ya kuzia Zimbaleo, manyiba ruge riba mehemu kidogo. Kindly support this program. Ninapozungumza ni barabara hii imeundwa. Hamna vumbi, hamna nini. Hatungekuwa tunazungumza saa hizi. Nilikuweko ni vumbi kutifliwa tu. Tulikuwa tukiwa wagonjwa kuendwa hospitali ni shida. Gari inaonekana iwezi pita. Hata pikipiki ukiambia mtu wa pikipiki nipeleke, anafika huko Zimbara. Lakini saa hii wameweka lami tunasikia mzuri. Gavana azidi kutusaidia hivyo ndio tupate kuona maendeleo ikiendelea. The Department of Land Physical planning and housing has erected garbage bins across the county, purchased a garbage collector, a compactor and an exhauster vehicle to fight garbage menace. It is also constructing a wastewater wetland and a biodigester. The county aims at nurturing talent by promoting various sporting activities. It is the official sponsor of Vihiga United Football Club, which is in the Football Kenya Federation League and Vihiga Queens who play in Kenya Women Premier Leagues. Vihiga Queens are three-time consecutive Kenya Women's Premier League champions, with more than seven players from the club playing for the women's national team. The government has to support us. We have to support us. We have to support us. Additionally, the department also organizes annual football tournaments that nurture youth's talents. World tournaments huwa ni za muhimu sana kwa sababu tumepata wachezaji uh, mchezaji kama huyu Bridget kuna mwingine ambaye yuko kidato cha kwanza pale Madira Girls ambaye pia tunasaidia kumlipia school fees following the ascent of the Vihiga County Sports Management Act in 2019 into law County Sports Management Committee has been set up with the task of among other things approving funding for local sports team through Vihiga County Sports Fund The committee recently issued checks worth 15 million shillings to 10 county teams that play in Football Kenya Federation Premier League, Kenya Women Premier League, National Super League and Division 1 leagues. For cultural prosperity, the county government has constructed Maragoli and Tiriki cultural centers with those of Bunyore and Terik being in pipeline. Other projects and activities being implemented by sports development include construction of a Messi stadium and renovation of various playing grounds. The department also facilitates various county teams participating in the annual Kenya Intercounty Sports and Cultural Activities Kikoska. Provision of clean and safe water being one of Governor Tichilo's flagship project. The Mega Vihiga Cluster Water Project is more than 95% complete and soon water will start running into residence taps. The project which covers Maseno, Lunyerere all the way to Kaimosi will quench thirst for more than 300,000 Vihigians. Hybrid solar panels have been installed in all three projects to generate power that will be affordable for water pumping in place of electricity. What a game changer in water provision services in the county. 
Some of the complete water projects are Gaga, Mugogo, Ebunangwe, Bumbo, Kigoye, Muhanda, Vigina and Mangongo. Nilishukuru sana ile mlileta maji. Tumeka bila maji unapata unapata unatoka safari unapata hakuna maji unaenda mtoni mtoni hiyo inateresa ukichota hiyo maji tena maji hiyo ni mchafu kiongozi ambaye anasikia kilio chenu analeta maji kama hapa kiongozi ambaye anasikia kilio chenu analeta barabara vile mboko amesema inaenda nyangoli na vitu kama hivyo sio kiongozi ambaye anakupatia shilingi moja leo kesho shilingi tatu Iyo handout kusaidia. Construction of renovation of other water projects is on course. A notable feat by the Department of Environment was the commencement of reforestation of Maragoli Hills as part of environment conservation measures. Good infrastructure and efficient communication is key for economic growth. This is the reason Otichilo led administration has constructed and rehabilitated various roads. For the last three years, the county government has done more than 800 kilometers of road. To mitigate fire and other disasters, the department purchased some more than 10,000 liter capacity fire engine and rapid response vehicles. <laughs> to create employment and boost active businesses, Dr. Otichilo initiated a trade enterprise fund which offers business loans at lower interest rates. So far, the fund has given out 58 million shillings to individuals and various groups since July 2019 when it started. The county government has also constructed market sheds across the county. Border border form an important sector of our economy. And as a result, more than 1,200 border border riders in Vihiga were trained, issued with helmets and driving licenses in 2019-2020 financial year. The riders also received a relief from the scorching sun and rainfall when the government constructed border border sheds in various stages. Dr. Wilbur promises people light, and beside various projects illuminating lights of progress, he has literally offered them light by lighting major markets and many centers in the county. The lights erected through the lands and transport and infrastructure departments have drastically reduced insecurity cases in the county and allowed traders to extend their operating hours. Some of the areas lit are Mudete, Shamahoho, Chavakali, Mbale, Majengo, Mahanga, Esibue, Esirulo, Mwicho, Luanda, Gisambai, Stendikisa, Manyata, Mukuli, Kiritu, Kivagala, among others. For the little period Governor Tichilo has been in office, Vihiga people have had a real taste of real development from transformative leadership that has truly defined and redefined the true meaning of devolution. It goes without saying that an array of challenges like delayed disbursement of funds from the national government, pending bills and now COVID-19, mad momentum of implementing some of the projects in 2020. However, the county government of Vihiga remains steady and indomitable in changing the lives of great people of Vihiga. Barabara mejenga, uchukuzi uko sawa vihiga inanga.